Hi, Mr. X with Glossary Term Scientific Notation. This is especially useful for very large numbers or very small numbers. And the way I teach it is to not try to remember whether you go left or right. Just remember that very small numbers will have negative exponents. That's how you keep it straight. If you can appreciate that 10 to the third is a thousand, 10 to the third power is a thousand by itself, and this is very easy. Six and a fourth thousands is 6,250. Let me put the little comma there if you like. I'm going to note this two different ways with our multiplication operator here. This is a multiplication dot. That's a little x for times. Now what we do here is if we have to express 83,600,000 in scientific notation, well we take the non-zero digits that would be the 8, the 3, and the 6, put it as a number between 1 and 10, 8.36, obviously, and then how many powers of 10 do we have to multiply this number by to get to the original? Well, you can actually count. 1, 2, 3, I'm counting from the decimal point, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 would put that decimal point between the 8 and the 3, and it's 8.36 times 10 to the 7, or... 8.36 times 10 million. And where do the negatives come in? Well, the negatives come in for small numbers. Again, we're going to use whichever notation you want. Now, our number between 1 and 10 here would come from the 4.1. We write the 4.1, put the decimal point in there to put it between 1 and 10. Now, how many decimal places do we have to have? Well, how many decimal places did we move from the actual decimal point in our, in our number 0. 0.00041 is the original number. We could read that as 4,100 thousandths. But how many decimal places did we move? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 puts it between the 4 and the 1. Negative 4. 4.1 times 10 to the negative 4th. In every case, this exponent represents how many places we moved. The number 4.1 is equal to 4.1 times 10 to, we didn't move the decimal point at all. Didn't move it. 10 to the 0 is 1. So 4.1 is equal to 4.1 times 1. Sure. Now if we multiply the 4.1 times 10, we get 41. If we multiply the 4.1 times a tenth, which is what 10 to the minus 1 represents, multiplying by a tenth is the same as dividing by 10. 4.1 divided by 10. At MrXMath.com, Mr. X takes the mystery out of math.